How's it going everyone? Uh, before I change, or before I uh, start today's video, your boy is 20 years old. It's impressive. Let's get right down to qualifying. Yeah, so uh, right now your boy is 20 years old as of, as of Sunday. Uh, it's incredible. I ended up taking yesterday off so I could recover. And let's just say it was a pretty wild weekend for me in terms of food and drinks. So it's a good weekend, really good weekend. <clears throat> But man, 20 years old, it's incredible, it's awesome. This is also season 4, episode 5. Martinsville, I really don't want to do Martinsville. Green flag is out. Got one up top. Stage one, eight laps. This should be quick. Clear high, clear high. Careful, still there. Up. Oh. Already, it looks like uh, Austin Wayne's self just rear ends my truck, which is cool. It's all right. I think he got me. Uh, I think he pushed me into a uh, John Hunter there too. I think it was because I was a little bit early on the break. Just a little bit early, which resulted in him hit bumping me into John Hunter. So I guess it's my fault. It could be my fault. I don't know. I, 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 I'll, I'll take it as my fault because I, I think I'd break just a little bit too early going to the corner. All right, you're clear. That was a better lap. And I'm only doing Martinsville for today's episode just because. Uh, Still feeling just a little bit sick from the weekend, so that's that. Also making some progress. Someone spun. It's like uh. Okay, now this is uh, the problem that I have with Heat 3 and NASCAR is that that goes to show you that when somebody spins right in front right in front of the flag control person it goes to show you how inconsistent NASCAR is with cautions and penalties and uh, just goes to show you how inconsistent they are when somebody crashes right in front of them, and uh, they don't flow, uh, don't fl uh, fly the yellow flag. So that was pathetic. They see they see a truck spun right in front of them, pretty much blocking traffic. They don't throw a yellow flag for caution. 
it just goes to show you that hey Heat 3 is pretty much real life NASCAR because of the inconsistency. We're going green. Be ready. We've got a car low now. So, I don't know. Car there on the inside. You got room, you're clear there. I think it's utterly ridiculous. You got one outside now. Truck spun right in front of them, right in front of the flag control person, where uh, they control the flags and stuff, and they don't bring out cautions. Clear high, bud. You got room. You're clear there. Yeah, okay. I don't know. It's whatever Heat Three and NASCAR wants. So throw a caution there's a truck blocking the pretty much all the lanes to almost two lanes They don't do it Improving lap times just about every lap. Actually catching up to Johnny Sauter as well, which is good. Keep it up now. That was your best lap ever. I'm just throwing down lap times too. And another best lap time, just setting new records for myself. You got one to go. And would you look at that, another new record for myself. And I could possibly boot, possibly win stage one. That was a bit a little bit too uh, late breaking in that corner. Sauter wins that stage day. two. I believe he won stage one as well. Sauter. Wait, what? What? Wait. Oh, I thought I saw something. Okay, looks like everything is normal. I thought Jennifer Joe Cobb got 10th place for a minute. Looks like, uh... Looks like my eyes are just playing tricks on me, so that's good. I actually thought she got a stage point. I could be like, wow, what the heck? Car outside. 12 to go. Can very much win this race. Still there. And and I and I'm in the lead. All right, going good. See if I could get another new lap time. Great job, driver. That's a fast lap right there.
just posted your best lap ever. Well, uh, again, as you guys just heard, another new lap time. Sauter's uh, Sauter's actually doing a pretty good job at keeping up. He's not doing too bad. Uh, this lap traffic is going to come into play though, which is probably going to mess me up just a little bit. Which could result in Sauter taking away my first place. Possibly, uh, possibly my second one of the season. He is actually doing pretty decent at keep it up. I think my truck is uh, starting to slow down just a little bit. These final four laps at Martinsville. And lap traffic has got to come into play. Okay, it looks like lap traffic isn't going to be... Uh, it might be bad, because Sauter is... Improving his time. Just a little bit. Okay, looks like he's actually getting messed up by the lap traffic. And with that, I get my second win of the season. Easy. I can definitely do that. Actually, how about I do this kind of burnout? Go up against the wall. Burn out like this. All right, so what happened? Who spun? Or lap six. Oh, see what, what what happened here? Okay, it looks like uh, Timothy Peters uh, hits the wall and Parker Clicker up. Oh. Yep, no caution for that. Oh, it looks like, oh, what's happening here? Okay, th this is what. <laughs> Take a good look at this for a minute. This is what bothers me about this game. They are so inconsistent with their cautions. It's not even funny. Just look at this still. You have the 92 of Timothy Peters blocking a lane and a half. Almost two lanes. And Brett Moffat, uh, he's trying to avoid uh, the freaking truck. Oh, look at that. He just... This is what I don't like about this game. Fix it, somebody. 
It's ridiculous. Inconsistent cautions. And they just let him race past that. And they let Brett Moffat run into the 92. Totally acceptable. Sarcasm. Oh, Grant and Finger won stage one. Not Sutter. But that just, that, that's what kills me about this game. That you can have somebody wreck or a big old pile up, but sometimes they won't even throw the caution out. They just won't. I don't know, man. It's, uh... Just... It's actually pathetic. It's like, it's pathetic sometimes. And wh where's the caution for that? There was no absolutely no caution for that. Whatever. Acceptable. Totally acceptable. You have 25 wins. Congrats. Oh, thanks, Austin Dillon. You have 25 wins. Congratulations. 25 wins? Are you kidding me? Wow. Johnny Sauter. That's a big old list of compliments for me. All right. A uh, few teams. All right. Hmm. Nemco Joe Nemechek is still mad at me. All right. Well, that's that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this one, and if you guys enjoyed that little bit of inconsistency from NASCAR in Heat Three, uh. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and recover. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get uh, that inconsistent crash out of my mind. So, uh, anyway, have a good one. And I'll try to be back with you guys later.